All right, this is Joe with Poster Boy Clothing, here with Anthony Sharkbait Gutierrez. Yes. He's here to give us his UFC 126 picks. The night starts off in your weight class with uh, Miguel Torres versus Antonio Benuelos. Who do you like in that one? Um, two guys I would want to fight anytime soon. Um, I think, you know, Miguel Torres was on that big reign forever when he was smashing dudes, but the game has evolved so much to where he, I mean, he's still a beast for sure and stuff. I just don't think he's that unstoppable force anymore. And I think Benuelos keeps up that crazy crackhead pace and, you know, good technique for three rounds. I think uh, Benuelos is going to get the decision for sure. I don't see, I don't see Torres subbing him in any way, and I see Benuelos outworking him really. So this fight goes the distance? Yeah, I think uh, Benuelos is going to take that by decision. Because I don't see Benuelos finishing him either. All right, next up is Jake Ellenberger versus Carlos Roca. Uh, definitely going to go with Jake Ellenberger. I think he uh, I think he beat Carlos Condit. He smashed John Howard. He's, Jake Ellenberger is a beast, I, in my opinion. And I, I've been following him for a while, and he's definitely a beast. He's going to smash this dude. I think I'm going to go uh, uh, first round. Ellenberger is going to be just pounding him on top. Dude's going to shrimp with an underhook, thinking he's about to... Sweeping or something, I think Elbert will snatch up a guillotine. Either that or a TKO, but I'd say I, I'm picturing a choke with his buff ass arms. Gotcha. <laughs> Next up is uh, what a lot of people consider the future of the 205 pound division in the UFC John Jones versus Ryan Bader. Yeah, yeah. Um, John Jones is insane. Like, he's just so crazy good for sure. And then Bader's one of those guys that kind of you know, sneaks under the radar. If you look at reality, Bader really has beaten. Um, I think, you know, I'm pretty sure Bader has a lot more consecutive wins than he does. And Bader, he's 11-0. I'm not sure what Bones' record is. I guess you can't count Matt Hamill's fight as a loss. But I, I think I'm going to go with Bader. I think there's going to be an upset. I think Bones, his striking is really dynamic and good. And Bader has really good technical power strikes. So I think Bader can kind of nullify that a little bit. And it's just going to come down to the wrestling. And it's going to come down to an insane, really good athletic wrestler, Bones Jones, versus like a four-time All-American Arizona State, ba Bader's really good shots. So, I mean, I'm, I think I'm going to go with Bader and uh, Bader the decision. I'm going for the upset on that one for sure. I've been calling Bader for a while, and I think he's going to take the upset. All right. In the night's co main event, we got two seasoned veterans, Forrest Griffin up against Rich Franklin. Yeah, um, Forrest Griffin hasn't fought in a year. Um, Rich Franklin's last fight was against Liddell. I think, I mean, I'm just leaning towards Forrest for sure. He hasn't, he hasn't fought in a year. I think he, he's going to come out, not necessarily with a lot to prove, but I think he's just going to come out game and ready. It seemed like he was one of those guys where he was super, super busy in MMA for four or five years. Almost like, I mean, this is just a hunch, but maybe he almost got burnt out a little bit just by fighting so much and all these tough fights. And he's had a year off, and I bet you he comes back um, a handful in the contender, like, you know, Forrest Griffin, you know, the contender that we know Forrest Griffin was, and I think he's going to come back and, and uh, I'm going to TKO Rich Franklin. All right. And in the night's main event, we got... UFC unbeaten Anderson Silva has a 13-0 record in the premier organization of the world, putting his belt up against Vitor Belfort. Yeah, this, there's so much beat, Vitor Belfort hype in me. And when I say my opinions on him, it's not like I'm talking down to him because his striking is way better than mine. He's, you know, he's, he's an amazing striker, Vitor Belfort is for sure. But he comes in, the UFC has an impressive win over Rich Franklin, clips him on the back of the head. Not even that, like, dynamic and, and out, out skilling. Just, you know, caught him in the back of the head, TKO'd him. And, but besides that, you know, he TKO'd Matt Lindland before that, which, I mean, Matt Lindland's another beast. But I just, I'm not thinking Matt Lindland is world class anymore like that. So I'm really just not sold on Vitor. I mean, the, I'm just not sold on him. Even back in the day, the UFC, like, 57 and stuff, he was losing to Couture and losing to Tito and stuff. So I've never really been sold on him. He's a beast for sure. And Anderson Silva's, the, you know, our, the best pound for pound fighter in the world. I think Silva's going to come out and just destroy him. All right, folks, there you have it. Shark Bait's UFC 126 picks. What can we see from you in 2011? Uh, just uh, a lot of, I mean, pro fights. I'm fighting pro now. So hopefully make a little money and um, take smart fights and win and and make a little money and have a good time like we've just been doing, have a good time for sure. So Look forward about. to it. Thanks, buddy. Yep.